What's up, y'all? I got a banger from the man guide. Let's get straight into it. Behold our new robot. What? I'm on the verge of getting my real estate license. <laughs> Is that what everyone does when their dreams are crushed? That's what every I retired bottle girl does, yes. Shot fired! Shot fired! <laughs> Every entrepreneurial woman that is past her prime that is like, how do I make money? Let's go into real estate. That's easy, right? It's not easy. I feel like that's like the only... Stop spending as much money on eyeliner and you should be good. <laughs> Keep it a buck. That's a lot. That's the only way out. No, it's not the only way out. Go get an education. I don't want to do that. Go become Can you a nurse. Even picture me selling houses. I couldn't. Hi, welcome in. Here's the kitchen. Go be Here's a bottle girl. Here's the bathroom. Do you like it? Do you want to buy it? This is my entire job. Is just doing that, and then the other stuff that's boring. <laughs> Sorry, no offense to you guys, but that sounds so boring. Well, it kind of fits. You're well, I mean, dude, life is boring. That's the thing, bro. Having a job can be very boring and be very mundane. If you're really good at it, though, it can be very exciting. But for a lot of these women, they don't want to put the work in for the job that they actually want. They just want something easy. And the thing is, this is why I say women grow old, they never grow up, dude. Ladies, don't be nice to ugly men because they wouldn't be nice to you if you were ugly. Really? Wow. And where is this coming from? Coming from a former ugly girl, mediocre girl. I've been all of it. Former ugly girl? Shots fired! Shots fired! Who told you that? Stupid. Yeah. Indeed. And I've reached the, I guess I've reached the good looking. I'm somewhat, I'm considered good looking now a little bit. Well, they do say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They're way nicer to me now. Oh! In fact, I can say really mean stuff. I can be demanding and they give me what I want. Gee, I wonder why that could be. All you have to be is hot. They don't care. Oh, I don't know about that. But Who's let's gonna continue. Tell her? So, um, treat them how they would treat you if you were ugly. I have a better idea. How about I mean, I mean, here's the thing, though. I actually agree with this a little bit. That you need to treat every girl like she's ugly. <laughs> you treat her like she's ugly, she doesn't feel like she gets pedestalized. So, you know, that philosophy actually works when it comes to guys to girls. Well, based on the type of person that they are, rather than based on what they look like. Lady J's based. If they're going to be that demanding of us, of just basic human respect and kindness, based on our appearance, then we should do the same. What happened to treating people as you would want to be treated? That must have gone the same way as manners. And don't tell me you're watching this video because you like my face, man, because we know you are. Oh, here we go. You don't even care about my attitude. I just bashed the shit out of you. And you're going to say what? Oh, she's so cute. I know how you work. I have a guy, a guy on here said, I want you. Why? Why do you want me? And now that's genuinely a good question. Because I'm cute a little bit? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Mm. Yeah, guys might want a woman based on how she looks for the now. But based on her attitude, that will determine if he sticks around. Facts. The voice and the face alone are enough to make solitary. Bro, like, what is that, bro? Let's see some. Of I like how he goes through the comments. So, Man Guide will actually go through some of the comments here. But, like, bro, this is so wild that these women really think you think you're a ten, but your attitude makes you a one. Facts. Who told you she was? Uh, what is it? <laughs> Who told you she was kind of cute? The guy wanted to borrow her fake eyelashes. <laughs> Beauty's in the eyes of the beer holder. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Good God. People actually record themselves saying this stuff. What's the end goal? I mean, facts, dude. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like just being overtly mean to men and saying that you're God's gift to earth is, is absolutely wild to me. E harmony Woman in her early 50s who I play volleyball with suggested that I get an eHarmony account that this is where all the serious singles are, so I did it. I committed to paying over $600 for the year. It's just a quarterly, but I will end up having to pay over $600 for this. I have been on there for 10 days now, and I do not have a single like or match. <laughs> it's just, it's... I'm, I'm hideous. Why can't these women accept it? Some of y'all are just mid. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, look at her. I don't know, but like, I've seen Earthworm Jim. I've seen, I've seen the game. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you're not a 10. And every woman expects to get 10 results. You're getting mid results. You, you attract what you are, ladies. No one wants me. 
I have personally liked like 13 guys, but not a single one of them have, has liked me back or sent me a message. On top of that, it gets worse. Harmony makes you take all these questionnaires so that they can really get to know you, and then they give you a compatibility score with every single person on the site based on like your personality, what you want, your childhood, blah, blah, blah. So every single guy on the site that I can see has like a little number, which basically tells me how compatible eHarmony thinks that we are. And on the entire site for all of the United States, my highest compatibility ranking is with a man who is a janitor. A janitor. And he won't even like me back. Even the janitor saying, nah, I'm good. I'd rather go unclog toilets. That's brutal, bro. But you know what? If she was smart, she would look at that and say, hmm, all the traits that I have, I'm attracting a man that's a janitor. I'm not saying it's bad being a janitor. You can make pretty good money. Maybe you can't support a family of four or live a life of luxury, but you can make enough money to live. What this is telling her is that, hey, this is the league you're shooting in now, honey. These are the guys you're fit for, compatible with. So why don't you double down on these men and say, you know what? A janitor is really more my speed. What's wrong with that? At least you're compatible with someone. It's either that or be alone. And it seems like if you're willing to pay $600 a year to find a man, you really don't want to be alone. Stupid. Or you really don't want to be a... You're a single mom. You said I would ask you if he's here or not. Are you single and pregnant? You're showing up a baby. I mean, you know what I mean? So it's either that or be alone. I'm just saying it's like... You got to make your choice, honey. And eHarmony's telling you where you're at. This is the league you're shooting in now. Tuck I'm adopting like eight cats. I'm giving up right now. There the you Harmony, go. you have wounded me deeply. There is no coming back from this. For real. And that's the life cycle of the Western woman. Cut. That's a wrap, boys. We got the timeline down. <laughs> Women who look like, and let's be transparent here, complete dumpster fires with no hope of salvation, <laughs> constantly look at a guy that's an equal and think they deserve a stacked dude with a Porsche because they follow... That's what I'm saying. You, you are... You're the equivalent of a janitor in the modern dating market. What's wrong with that? That's what you are, are fit for. Feminist code. Moreover, lady, the janitor is way out of your league. What could you possibly provide to a man who can do everything you're supposed to do, I mean, but true. insanely better? The comments are here. Being a janitor is a hundred times more respectable than being an influencer. Oh, facts. Agreed. Just put them on an island somewhere and make a TV show out of it. I was with you until you shit on the man for being a janitor. Working class people deserve more respect. Facts. You were with her because you're a woman. If you were fully rational, you would have seen where this was going in the first three seconds. What's wrong with being a janitor? Nothing. I know a lot of great men who had these professions, mm -hmm. and none of them deserve a life. There's guys that are janitors that you know, work at a college and then eventually end up getting their degree. Women like this. They are the prize. Maybe don't shit on janitors and you'll be more likable. I think the ship has sailed on that one. Mm -hmm. Just a reality check. The way you talk about him being a janitor, are you surprised he don't like you back? Facts, dude. Nope, not at all. Next clip. For anyone still doubting how bad the dating scene is, this is how single I am. Sid from my Sage. And this is what the media never likes to cover. Women all over the West are starving for a date with a real man. And yet, there's none to be found. Why? Because they all walked away. I mean, come on. This chick is so desperate that she has a chart to show her availability. That's the, nice. the thing is, no guy is going to sacrifice his dignity for a $300 date with a woman no. that has a body count exceeding 100 people, Fact. which is just the standard at this point. Here are the top comments, y'all. How you're single, I don't understand. <laughs> Your name tag here is quite fitting, bro. In NYC, that's kind of wild, not going to lie. It's summer, For just real. step out. Just go outside. I think so she's been people. on the streets plenty, my guy. It's just that men aren't biting anymore. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer to work on Mac or Windows? <laughs> Windows. <laughs> on the flip side, if you weren't single, it would be harder to carve out enough time to focus on yourself and your career. Leak codes, side projects, FT job, and clients take up so much time, it takes a very understanding and patient boyfriend. I think you're describing a simp lady. Yeah, for Moving real. on. Here's the deal. If a man gives 90, a woman gives 120. If he pulls back and gives 80, she still gives 120. Hoping that eventually, eventually he'll meet her at least at 100. And then she'll give 200. 
Sometimes I'm really what? curious what these people. The math is not mathing. Honey, go audition for a Netflix show. Because nobody's believing this. People are taking. I mean, social media is a hell of a drug, but the level of delusion women like this have makes you think something. It's like an off brand Cindy Crawford. Shots fired! Shots this is in the fired! Medicine cabinet. The hive mind has really gassed these chicks with their toxic beliefs to the point that they really believe they're the same women who lived at home a hundred years ago. They go and make a video spewing crazy cult-minded nonsense, crazy end the recording, bro. and then suddenly think, wow, I just changed the world. <laughs> Sweetheart, the only medicine you require is a reality check. So the comments are... This woman is obviously single and only cares about Instagram. Facts, dude. She's a professional clout chaser. Swap the genders and you're correct. True, <laughs> but luckily most of the men have walked away. And they don't have to deal with this anymore. Where are these superhuman women that you are speaking of? For real. She doesn't know, and she'll never find them. Mm -hmm. Nonsense and a bad path. Victim mentality detected, opinion rejected. Love it. What world is this in where women put in any effort? Nowhere on planet That's what Earth. I'm saying, 200 percent I have to guess, it's all in her head. Women ain't even putting in and no effort. And that's the point. The prize mentality. All the women I see talking about, I need to do nothing. I need to bring nothing to the table. I am the table. What are you talking about? Give 100%. I feel like if women were giving any, then men would probably be actually giving them a chance. But I feel like most women don't give any effort. Let me know in the comments. Do you, do you agree or disagree with me on that? Do you feel like most modern women in the dating market right now put in any effort? I feel like most women give 5% and expect 105%. The disparity in effort is wild right now in the dating market. Through 10, I'm going to give myself a 10. No matter what? No matter what. Just because even if I didn't look the way I did and I looked another way, even like all of you guys, like it makes me I mean, I know They're you all 10s. I, yes. I would, Stupid. Well, I would hope that you guys would all feel like you're a 10. Is there any girl in that room who's yeah. prettier than you? I think we're all beautiful. Is there any girl in that room who's prettier than you? I'm gonna get up to my sister, but. <laughs> Wait, Andrew. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'll get so, to if my your sister, sister. so then if your sister is a 10, what does that make you? So fine, I guess we're all nines, but I. Wait, you can't all be nines. If you're the prettiest girl in the room and you rate yourself a nine, then you'd have to rate at least other girls an eight, right? I didn't ever say I was the prettiest girl in the room. But okay, are you I, the prettiest girl in the room? I didn't, no, I didn't say that. Yeah, I know, but are you? No. Andrew's okay, eating. I, I think my sister is beautiful. Okay, so she's the prettiest girl in the room. But so you that have to remember, I'm less pretty, at my... Hang on. So that would mean you're less pretty than her. So if she's a 10, then that would make you a what? A she could be a 10, too. But we could both be 10s, but it's just like, I think my sister's most beautiful just off the fact that she's my sister, and I know... We're all 10s. Got it. Everybody's a 10. Hey, rate yourself right now in the comments. Rate yourself right now. Let's see what you guys got. Actually, you know what? Rate me. <laughs> rate me in the comments. Let's make this good. <laughs> There's... I, I've given up my ranking before as far as what I think I am, but I want to see what you guys have. Put it in the chat, put it in the comments, rank me 1 through 10. I'll give you guys a second here. I want to see what you guys think. Okay? Keep them coming. Be honest. Be honest. And base it off these two things. Relationship marketplace value, sexual marketplace value. Relationship marketplace value is how compatible you are as actually being in a relationship from what you guys know about me in sexual marketplace value, which, you know, use your imagination on that one, gents. <laughs> Put those two together and that gives you the number, right? All right, let's see what everybody has. I'm going to give myself a six. Give myself a six. Let's see, and, and let's see how close I am to being right. I guess there's no need for standards. Wayfair, Michael Jackson, old star for you. Solid four, if she could That's also talking. true. It's like, most of the time when girls are 10s, they don't call themselves a 10. Have you guys ever noticed that? Like, girls that are 10s don't say, I'm a 10. They're just like, oh, I'm... One literally taking... I'm like a five or a four. Like, I asked Cass what she thinks she is. Cass is like, I'm a four. And I'm like, babe, you were, not, you were, like, you were straight up 10 in my eyes. But a woman that's humble won't rate herself a 10. A woman that's arrogant will. Wanting engagement rings that cost as much as your partner's car. What? I know this sounds like a crazy take. Stupid. Because it is. And this is my best friend's idea, by the way. I think it's time to get some new friends. As soon as Her I... uncle must be a giraffe. Shots fired! Shots fired! Got a long ass neck. Said it to me, I was like, you are doing way too much. Like, your standards are way too high. Should have gone with that feeling. Yeah, for real. But let me explain. This is going to make sense. I surely hope so, really? because right now I don't see any way that it possibly could. There's no way. At the beginning, I was thinking, if my man proposes with a diamond ring that is less than two carats... But you ain't even got a man! Then I'm gonna say no. So then that means that one doesn't actually love him. Like, maybe I'm gonna keep the man, but he's gonna have to propose again with the ring that I approve of. It's just what I feel like I deserve. Stupid! Um, yes. If only everybody truly got what they deserve. Entitled, bro. 
And then my friend was like, I'm not accepting less than six carrots. And I'm like, that's gonna go on. look like Bugs Bunny? <laughs> six carrots? I'm not making a salad. Why do you need so many carrots? Your entire hand, but maybe one should. Do I look like a freaking farmer to you? Taking advice from Elmer Fudd, look at us. Person who's obviously going to be single for a very, very Does long somebody time. Say what I'm trying to say here is if a man is willing to spend that much on a car, it's a utility, right? It doesn't have to be a crazy expensive car, but if he wants that, if he likes that car, you know why what, honey? You... I'm gonna go get a 94 Datsun. <laughs> 94 Datsun. A Suzu Datsun. <laughs> three grand off the used car lot. You know, we'll spend three grand on a ring. Actually, you know, we'll find a 74 Oldsmobile. You know, one of those old cop vehicles. Get that from 1500 bucks at the cop auction. Get you 1500 bucks, baby. I'll take care of you. You want to spend that money towards, first of all, something that doesn't lose value. Mm. <laughs> you don't lose value as you get older? That's new. Gentlemen, I would like to remind you that happily, not every woman thinks this way. And this is a case of what we in the business Lady J's of so professional and nice. like to call Shout out to Lady J, bro. Every single guy who was almost going to be an athlete, guess why they weren't? Because they, hold on, they tore their ACL. If I had a dollar for the amount of times I heard that from a wanting, aspiring athlete. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just sounds like... She's a runner, she's a track star. Why do you know so many athletes? I find that a little suspicious how you know so many of these men. Many men wish that the funny. I'm so mean. Looks like I need to ask a series of questions. Does a prize get run through like any major transport hub? Does That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, how do you know so many athletes? Hmm? What have you been doing with all these athletes, baby? No. Next. Question for men, because I'm starting to wonder. Are there big any men back, left? Big back. Big back, big back. <laughs> in this entire universe, who are interested in a woman in her late 30s no. with the natural body. No. Yikes. <sighs> a naturally big body. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about, natural body? You're unhealthy. I got no words for this one, so let's find some but fails to mention her four kids with four dads. <laughs> Nailed it. Maybe. I have a hard time believing she found men who'd humor whatever she's become. Jesus. Not if she's selling her high mileage cat online. Oh my lord. The hat and she's, well. The cat gross. and the hat. Natural, yes. Unhealthy, no. There you go. LOL, that's a natural body? Where were you raised? <laughs> Hometown buffet? <laughs> This one was good. Great job, man. <laughs> With your OF, not many that will take you seriously. Thanks. I have a hard time believing that she would be chosen in a reality show lineup, let alone whatever grotesque stuff lies on the other side of that fence. Bro. Next clip. I was just walking. That's wild to me. You can't even pick her up. And this woman in front of me got aggressively catcalled. And I hate that because I'm right behind her. Like, I'm next. And then when I walked by, it was silence. And I was like, wow, I hate that even more. Pick a lane, lady. No, you, can't, you can't make this stuff up. They're mad if you do. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like These, these ladies get mad if you don't catcall them. And then if you do, they're also just as mad. So, Loki, does someone want a treat? We have today a... Sorry, I'm a little low energy today, guys. I had some uh, friends come in town. and We stayed up really late last night. Come here. Sit. Wait. Breathe. Place. We have a Chunola from PetSmart. It's like a granola bar, but from PetSmart. Let's jump into the Discord and see what the gentlemen have. Um, so remember, the last bit of these videos, we're going to start jumping into the Discord and just reacting to some uh, clips that you guys okay. have. So let's see what's, who, who threw this one here. This is going to be a, a clip by Shadow Bear. Shout out to Shadow Bear. Let's jump into this clip really quick. Imagine if a woman couldn't wear makeup tell me about it because if women really could not wear makeup and it would imagine if men couldn't wear fragrance <laughs> tell me about it couldn't wear what <laughs> imagine if men can't spray their hairline on after their haircut <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> imagine if women actually had to be good at conversation to get a boyfriend <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> imagine if women couldn't use starbucks and chick-fil-a as a personality trait 
tell me about it. Imagine if women couldn't blame their horrible attitude on their zodiac sign. Tell me about it. Imagine if women actually had to know how to cook to get a husband. Tell me about it. I mean, we could go all day, ladies. What you want to do? Let's let's go to war. What you want to do? Nah. Let this man cook. I'm playing. Let me stop because I know they about to hurt my feelings in the comments. Fellas, I'm going to give you all some life advice. Never go tit for tat with a woman on the comebacks because I promise you she is sitting on some diabolical information Probably. that when she says it, <laughs> it's going to have you sitting in the corner crying, wishing that you never opened your mouth. Ladies, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I was just playing, and uh, y'all are my queens. <laughs> good clip, good clip. Shout out. Good clip. <laughs> what you always say is, still hit, though. She says all that, still hit, though. So I gotta do. Uh, this next clip is also by Shadow Bear. And if you want to drop a clip in the... Drop a clip in the uh, Discord. You can go to the description of the video and drop something in the Discord. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. There's not a big pool of good men. That's a lie. That's well, not a, a that, lie. That is a That's lie. That's not a lie. You hey, tell me. Listen, there's not a lot of good men who want y'all. Facts. Ooh, I'm clapping for her. myself. Where the good man at? Like they hiding under a rocker in a cave. They everywhere. They at the gas station. They at Costco. They at Equinox. They at the bank. They walking right past you, and you don't show up on their radar because of the way you are. Facts. They're gonna walk right by you. Your pretty face ain't gonna go too far because everybody's pretty. That's a prerequisite. So mm -hmm. if that's all you got to offer, we're not looking at you. But there's plenty of good men. They just don't want your ass. Mm -hmm. I ain't never heard no woman say, "I know I ain't shit." When have you ever heard a woman admit to not being shit? She'll say, this man ain't shit, he ain't shit, he was bad, he, he was bad, he was bad, he was bad. But for the most part, every woman think they're a good woman. What makes you a good woman? Who's auditing that you're a good woman? You are auditing yourself. Why don't you ask your exes what they think? Because all your relationships diminished and ended in, in turmoil. I mean, uh, preaching, preaching. Shadow Bear, another good clip. Another good clip, brother. Good job on that. Um, this one looks like it's by S dot 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 dot. Let's see if I can't pull this one up. Um, let's see, this is a YouTube link, I think. Is this going to pull up, though? Is this going to pull up, though? That's going to pop up. A, hey, he really enjoying that Chunola. Those Chunolas last a while, too. So let's see. Come on now. Man, my computer running slower than a turtle in a foot race. Good Lord. Nine minutes and 50 seconds. So, yeah. Oh, we, we already reacted to this. My bad, my bad. The thumbnail kind of threw me off. The thumbnail kind of threw me off. What Would you that? rather have me? Oh, God, here we go. Here's So this one's also from Shadow Bear. Shadow Bear be always throwing the good ones in here. Let's see. Would you rather have me or this car? Car. Um, how many previous owners? The car? No, you. <laughs> Zero. Don't believe I don't you. buy it. How many miles? Zero. Ever been in an accident? A few. All right, well, at least the car facts on this is probably accurate, um, so I'll take the car. You guys have the key? It's, uh, it's locked. You don't want us? Why the f*** would I want you? You see this thing? But she's light-skinned. Yeah? And she's Asian. And? It's a BMW M4 competition. Fine, take the f***ing car. Definitely a skit. Definitely a skit. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, what, do you, what would you guys take? A modern woman? Or a BMW M4. I'm taking that M4 all day, buddy boy. All freaking day. Let's see, um, 
this is on nine gag i'm not clicking on some of these links but yeah if you guys want to drop a, a suggestion in the um in the discord jump in the discord verify yourself by going to the verify channel and then go to suggestions and then you can drop in a link there if you want um and i will start doing this a little bit more and then also i need some guys that want to volunteer to be interviewed i want to start helping you guys out so if any of you guys do need help um, we're going to start setting up zoom calls i'll get a uh, calendar link eventually here in the description hopefully i'll have it by maybe the end of this week or hell it's already the end of this week maybe next week <laughs> next week um and we'll jump in just give you guys some looks maxing advice or just you know life advice whatever it may be we'll record these on zoom and then maybe at the very end of some of these episodes we'll add those in just so you guys can see but i think it'd be good to kind of talk to you guys engage with you guys a little bit more and give you some advice because kind of life advice some looks advice relationship advice things like that um but i just, and, uh, the the goal of this whole thing is to to get input from men and then we'll start getting input from women kind of like what kevin samuels did back in the day if any of you guys know about kevin samuels basically he would have women on his channel and he would go back and forth with them that's eventually where i want to be with this um this way we can start interviewing women um we can start talking to them seeing the way they think and kind of just um you know putting to light the hypocrisy of the modern dating market and the unreal expectations that a lot of women have mic drop so, but it's going to take some time and I understand that. And hopefully we can do this in an, in an attempt to get on the whatever podcast, maybe fresh and fit podcast and things like that. But yeah, man, overall, um, sorry. Like I said, I know I'm low energy today. I'm sorry for, um, you know, not being like super, ah, you know, I just, some days you just, you just kind of chill. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of chilling, kind of vibing. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, cop, cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Shout out to everybody in the Discord that's bought it. Um, and don't take my word for it. Like, I'll just go to the general chat here. And man, we have like, looks like somebody just bought one. That's uh, that's the personality ebook, the style ebook, personality ebook, personality ebook, style ebook, style ebook, person like, yeah, bro, it's selling like crazy. Like, look at this. You guys are really being supportive, so I appreciate that. And it seems like a lot of you guys are getting a lot of value out of it. I've got a lot of DMs on Instagram, so go cop the ebook if you are looking for some either style advice or personality advice. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you basically irresistible to women and respected by men. So it's a great book. I'm going to come out with a volume two as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Well, Loki, did you have a good time? Bro, he's literally almost done with that thing. He's going to straight town on that, dude. Don't try, don't swallow it, bro. I bet you if I tried to take it away from him right now, he would just straight swallow it. <laughs> He'd be eating like he really hungry, dude. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.